This suggestion worthy of great power. I come to beg of your sublime reason to trample his slave. Three, regret great soul and intelligible. Four, great power and best eating on the best power. Five, love is the great power. Six, the result of subtracting the universe from itself. Seven, good, but this decaying law cannot grant your honorable excellency's sublime desire, but, on the contrary, would earnestly pray your brilliant serenity to sit upon his grovelling euro. Eight, profound thought assures you of evil handed suppliants that your glorious nobility must teach him, before the controversy can be decided. Nine, two, with your sublimity condescends to defile himself by entering this much weaker miserable trouble. Ten, expect leopard dragon with very very at your high mightiness of magnificent heavenly palace tomorrow, Thursday, after nearly at three sharp. One, who is your honorable self, and why has your excellency paid us cattle the distinguished compliment of a visit? Two, this discussion worthy of great power. I humbly beg of your sublime reason to stand by the slave. Three, regret great soul and great power and best feeling and best power. Five, God is the great power. And we glanced toward this new history driven by this suspicion that ordinary language couldn't but tell us. Our past appeared frozen in the distance, or an and our every gesture and accent signified the negation of the old world and the reach for a new one. The way we lived created a new situation, one of exuberance and friendship, one of a subversive micro-society in the heart of a society which ignored it. Art was not the goal, but the occasion and the method for locating our specific rhythm and the necessary possibilities of our time. The discovery of a true communication was what it was about. Or at least the quest for such a communication. The adventure of finding it and losing it. We, the young the unaccepting, continued looking, filling him with Underground, 